Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Sims Big Brother 2016. I'm your host, Holly Linden, and welcome to Day 16. I hope you're having a fabulous day yourselves. Don't accuse her of being a diva, please. It is almost 8 o'clock, so what you're going to do is you're going to race easy against Sylvia. We have just a few people. Only five people are going to be competing in today's, H uh, today's veto competition, Jasper. And then because we have 12 people... Um, 13 people in the house um less of that is like to make the even version of that is like 12 so that would be six people playing so i thought that he we would have olivia sylvia manuela banjo and so that's only five but then i was i was thinking that maybe oscar or chase or something oh it will be oscar except um olivia can't play because <laughs> she's the slave so that is still only five people. So I thought, okay, uh, Chase is probably going to play, but he has zero and Aaron has zero, so that's way too many people. Okay, Jasper, you kicked her ass. Now, Jasper, I'd like you to race easy against Manuela because that's the next person. So Jasper won that one. Sylvia is out. She has not won the veto. Okay, Manuela, where you at, honey? Where you at? Oh, after she goes to the bathroom. Come on, hurry it up. <laughs> All this having to wait for everybody. It's crazy. It's crazy. There you go. There you go. Get out of there. You have a competition to do, darling. You can go to the bathroom afterwards. After you lose, apparently, because Jasper's just rocking it. He's ready. He's friggin' ready. Oh, I'm so ready. Mm. Where's she at? Where's she at? I'm gonna kick her ass. That'd be fun to rock climb, but I would, I like in a studio kind of setting or whatever. Not so much, um, not so much actually climbing mountains, you know. All right, Manuela, you gonna kick his ass? Jasper, you gonna kick her ass? Like you be kicking? You like? You gonna kick? Whose ass is gonna get kicked here? <laughs> I uh, oh. For some reason, because because Manuela has 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 molded herself into the wall, she has won. So Jasper, you are out. Manuela, now you need to compete against Banjo. You're gonna race easy against Banjo. She rocked it. Wow, good job, good job. Getting kind of a bit of your uh, your personal power back there. After you and Jasper aren't doing so well together. Where's Banjo? There he is. I think I have a hard time speaking sometimes when I'm commentating on this game because so much stuff is happening at once, especially here in the Big Brother house, um, that so many people are talking at once. And so I'm hearing one thing, like I'm hearing actual multiple things. And then uh, it makes it harder for me to commentate on top of it sometimes. Other times it's pretty easy. You can probably tell in my in my commentary sometimes when things are getting a little too raucous, like inside my head with all the voices and everything. So Banjo and Manuela, who is going to win this one? Who is gonna take it home? Who is gonna take it home? Now, just so you know, when in terms of the veto competitions, when we do have eight Sims left, everybody will be playing. And Banjo kicked her ass. Okay, it's down to Banjo and Oscar. Who is going to win the veto competition this morning? I want you to race easy um, against, whoopsie, Oscar. Congratulations, Banjo Fong. Okay, Oscar, get your cute little bum out here. He's over here talking to Zelda, his best friend. That's so cute. It's so cute and interesting to see who can... I know I always say this. It is so interesting to see who connects with who. Sylvia, you better not be going to do what I think you're doing. Frig off. Oscar is doing this. Okay? Okay. Okay, Oscar and Banjo. Who's it going to be? Who is going to win our veto... Co Whoops, I don't know why we're getting glitches. We don't have babies in the house at all. Who is going to win our veto competition? Will it be Banjo who just won against Manuela or is it going to be Oscar? Let's see. Come on, Oscar. Come on. I know he's more ripped than you, but you're a little more wiry, so maybe you got more of staying power in you. Come on, Oscar. I don't know why I want Oscar to win. I think just because it might make things a little bit different. Oh, Banjo. Oh, he was almost there. Good job, Oscar. We have our winner of the veto competition. 
Good job, Oscar. All right. So I'm going to set the backyard back up to what it normally is, and I will be right back. Okay, so I set it back up. Apparently, Olivia and Aaron are playing tag with each other throughout the house, which is really cute. I don't know why you'd go up the stairs, because neither one of you can go into the HOH room. Yes, yes, complaints, complaints, complaints. She wants to woohoo with David. Um, uh, where's David? Does he have this? He wants to woohoo with her. <gasps> let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Okay, um, make out in the hot tub. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's Let's have a... Let's get in. <laughs> and then I'd like to invite um, David to join us. That would be really sweet. We've already had one woohoo in the house between Oscar and Zelda. So is this going to lead us to the next woohoo in the house? I hope so. <laughs> because it's definitely an interesting uh, aspect to the game. Oh, I love her swimsuit. That's so pretty. Okay, now that you're in, I want you to um, ask David to join. She's definitely making her feelings absolutely known. She wants to cuddle in the hot tub with David, so we are going to do that. We are going to cuddle. Everyone is getting ill in the house right now. It is no good. No good. All right, cuddle with David. Come on. Come on. Jasper, in the meanwhile, Jasper, I'd like you to go to the bathroom. He won't? Oh, my God, he won't. He won't cuddle with her? Are you serious? Oh, my God. David? What the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, try it again. Where is he going? Ask him to join. And then we'll try to, like, talk to him and then cuddle with him kind of thing. Good job, Banjo. You don't need to be the one making food, but I'm, we're trying to get Olivia some strange. So she wants to woohoo in the hot tub, cuddle in the hot tub, make out in the hot tub. David! Um, and let's talk for a little bit. We'll enthuse about the new house. I don't know why their, their relationship's going down. Maybe because of all the flirting she does with all the other guys in the house. We'll ask about his day. Um, let's share a secret. Yes, okay, they are finally, their relationship points are going back up, so that's really, really good. I'm glad to see that. So we're not going to find out who Oscar is going to choose for, uh, to take off of the block until tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, you guys are getting on, so why don't... You, you can't cuddle because you're uh, so annoying. Well, we'll keep talking then. We'll ask about... My favorite color is orange. What a secret. What a secret, Olivia. This doesn't look like this is going to happen, to be honest. She wants to make... She wants to do all these things in a hot tub, but I can't do that if David is sitting over there. David, switch seats. Let's make this happen, baby. You're going to benefit too, so, you know. Um, let's gossip. And then we will, um, ask about day. And then we're going to try again to cuddle. And I really hope that he'll cuddle with us. I really hope so. It'd be really funny if they started woohooing in the bathtub. Have you heard that Surge the 8th, the 13th, Surge the 13th is secretly a party animal? Who the hell is Surge the 13th? <laughs> That's really strange. Okay. That is really, really strange. Oh, come on. Come on, David. You want to cuddle. Come on, David. There it is. There it is. And she wants to woohoo with David. And she wants to make out in the hot tub. Go on a date with David. We're not going to woohoo in the hot tub. I don't think that's going to happen. There they have a cuddle. Aww. Um, let's, uh, let's kiss. Let's kiss in the hot tub. In front of in front of Candace and Brigitte. David! Mm. You schmo. Get in. Get in. Get in the hot tub. Get in. Why does he keep getting out? What does he have to do that is so friggin' important? Nothing, that's what. Get in. <laughs> okay, now that you're in. <laughs> you're in. Now that you are in the hot tub, 
let's uh oh, i guess we gotta do all this friendly stuff again because he's being weird if he gets out again i'm gonna quit you know so cuddle and then hopefully oh, i can't do any of this romantic stuff my favorite food's porcini risotto. That is so romantic. What a secret. What a secret. We're going to gossip after that, maybe. I'd rather we cuddle. Let's cuddle. Come on. I know. I'm not paying attention to anyone else in the house. I need to. Jasper, how's it going? Talking to Manuela. Oh, you're flirting with Manuela. So, let's tell a funny story. Let's, uh, let's give her a pickup line because we're flirtatious. So, might as well. And we'll flirt again. And we'll compliment her personality, and we'll compliment her athleticism, and we will tell a funny story. Aaron and Sylvia, really? And we'll ask about her day. Oh. Okay, Banjo, what are you doing? Talking with Gretchen. Let's go back to Olivia. Nice. Okay, can we make out now, please? Can we make out now, please? Let's make out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Would you like to make out? Yes, I would. Yes, I would, darling. Put your tongue in my face. Gladly. If these were real conversations between the Sims, they would just be terrible conversations. <laughs> make out in the hot tub and make out in the hot tub. So she'll get a lot of points from that. And then what I'd like to do after that is I would like to woohoo with a David. Oh, with a David. There it is. Nice. Yep, let's go, woohoo. Let's go. Let's go. So he's talking with Manuela. God, Brigitte has dropped so much weight. She looks good. Looking good, baby. Looking good. Shit. Okay, what is happening with him? I think after he, he talks with, whoa, he wants to kiss Manuela. Does she want that? She wants to go on a date with him, but she doesn't want to kiss him. Well, let's let's try. Let's try to get some romanticizing happening in this episode. We already got a little bit with with David and Olivia, but I don't think David and Olivia are going to go woohoo like I want them to. Jasper, compliment her personality. Um, flirt. Have he uh no, I can't kiss her yet cuz she needs to have it. She needs to want it too. We'll make a silly face and he does not want, she does not want to flirt. Okie dokie. Well, uh, we've been flirting this whole time and you've been cool up until now. I am going to apologize. Oh, don't do that, she said. <laughs> oh, Olivia and David, Olivia and David. Oh my God. Oh my God. Woohoo, I'm going to have sex. <laughs> um, Chat with David, let's lock that in. Everyone get the hell out. I'm about to get some tail from a hottie. Nice. Nice. Can we still see them? Nice. Good. We got another woohoo in the house. Manuela thinks Jasper's being awkward. Awesome. We're going to enthuse about comic books. Just because he's socially awkward, we're going to apologize. We are going to chat. We are going to uh, share a secret. Okay, Olivia, you probably have a bunch of stuff you need to clean up there, hun. Um, so let's check out the bathroom and see what's going on. Let's use the all-in-one bathroom. Um, let's fish in the bathroom, apparently. Let's, um, there's nothing else there. And it's nighttime, so I'm not going to worry about the beds. There's only so much of a stickler I can be about it, realistically. After Okay, you are hungry, so we are going to serve some goopy carbonara. Some people say that Elvin Quinn has a terrible guilty secret. Could it really be true? Oh, that's the kind of stuff I like to hear. Because it's about, you know, house guests we've had here before that are now gone. And I find that very interesting. Tell her a funny story. Okay, she's flirting again with us. Jesus. Make up your mind, Manuela. Are you crazy over-emotional or some shit? Is she over-emotional? She's socially awkward. <gasps> They're both socially awkward. That answers a lot of questions. Oh, my God. 
Okay, Olivia, you're doing a good job. So nothing else is going to really be happening until tomorrow, I guess tomorrow morning, when we... Uh, we hear who it is that Oscar's going to let off the block. The veto ceremony is at 8 a.m. Uh, and I can control everybody on that day. So that's going to be interesting. We'll give them a couple of their wants and see what it is they do want. Because that's always a nice little um, insight into uh, the sim in question. Jasper, how are you doing? You want to listen to Sylvia, who is going to discuss her favorite TV shows. That is all she does. It's the only thing she talks about. Sylvia, honey, there's so much more to life. You're going to listen to Manuela, though, who is talking about her many accomplishments. Well, how about you use the all-in-one bathroom instead and uh, go do some stuff that make, gives you some... Uh, let's do a hydrotherapy, and then we will eat something. We eat peanut butter and jelly, and then we will go off to bed. In the meantime, I'm going to cycle through now that he's he's busy. Banjo, what are you doing, bud? You're heading off to the bathroom. Good job. Olivia, cooking up some goopy carbonara because she's hungry. Learn a new recipe. Let's lock that in. Um, Candice? Now, Candice, Zelda, and Birgitta are all on the block. I hope that Birgitta comes down off the block, and I think she has a good enough relationship with Oscar that we could make that happen. But I also don't really know. It, as you know, it could always go either way. Candace is cleaning up some puddles. Thank you so much. Olivia, there is a broken all-in-one bathroom in here. There it is. And this one. Ah, oh, shit. And you got to clean this one. <laughs> Zelda, what are you doing? Talking to Oscar. Oh, uh, they're best friends. <gasps> Zelda might be coming off the block. If she's best friends with Oscar... And he's deciding, ho, 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 this could, uh, this could go in an interesting direction. <laughs> of course, Chase is in the hot tub. <laughs> Sylvia's having a drink, probably about to go to bed soon. Brigitte, how are you doing? You're talking with uh, David. As long as you get along with a lot of people, you might be okay. I will be okay. I'll be okay no matter what anyway. But the one out of the three that I wouldn't mind going home... Uh, okay, Gretchen just had an error trap there. So, Gretchen, come back in, darling. What is she doing? What was she doing? Oh, she's doing that friggin' horse thing. Manuela is just chatting by herself, it looks like. <laughs> David, how you doing? You're not doing too great. You're complaining like crazy. Manuela is coming over to gossip with you, which is fine. Oscar, what's going on with you, bud? You're throwing darts. Pretty exciting. Not. Aaron, you're going to go use the all-in-one bathroom. Where's Olivia? Olivia's repairing all this stuff. Jasper is enjoying some solitude and some quietude. That does seem rather awesome, I think. Leonid would like to know if Sylvia wants to go on a date. Well, yeah, but... After the Big Brother competition, maybe? <laughs> it's kind of what I'm thinking. So, um, we are getting really close to the end of this episode. In the next episode, we are going to be finding out who it is that Oscar is going to be letting off the block. Our special veto winner. And I think that Zelda is going to be safe, to be honest, because they are best friends. I think he's pretty close with Brigitte. I'm not about to check because that kind of kills the element of surprise and I'd rather not try to make him get along with someone else. I mean, it makes sense that he and Zelda are best friends. They were the first woohoo together. Jasper, what are you doing? Oh, he's going to bed after that anyway. That's fine. What are all these things he has? Recover like a sports star. This is how the pros do it from his bath. Duck time. Rubber duckies make hygienic cleansing fun from his bath. Um, an inner peace from another bath. It's just like regular peace, but, you know, internal. And uh, squeaky clean, because his hygiene's all fabuloso. What are you doing, all, uh, Olive? Olivia. You talking to David? You want to talk to David. What do you want to do? You want to ask to watch the stars. Well, there are no stars here. Until the time that you win HOH... <laughs> You can't go and watch the stars. How about we kiss? <laughs> That'd be nice. Go, go. 
And then once you do that, I need you to repair this all-in-one bathroom, which is now broken. Cad Sarnet. Oh, nope. We're almost done this episode, but not quite yet. And uh, repair. Repair. We need to repair some stuff. Mop up the puddle. They had a nice little kissy there. I really like David and Olivia. It's really interesting because when I played it by myself, I... Oh, Banjo. What are you doing outside, bud? Teleport. Um... I only played it for a few, like about a week and a half sort of thing. And it was interesting because Olivia and Chase, was Olivia and Chase? No, it was Olivia and Oscar that were together. And I thought it was really cute because they both have names that start with O. <laughs> I almost said names that start with zero. That's how brilliant I am. They both have names that start with O and I just thought that was really cute. But I like David and Olivia much more than I like Oscar and Olivia. I think Oscar and Zelda, I think that's really, really cute. It, I don't know. There's just something really cute about it. She just seems so posh and he just seems so laid, ba like laid back and kind of hippie-esque and it's really nice to see that they're attracted to each other because, you know, you can't judge a book by a cover and all of that. By its cover and all of that. <laughs> okay, it is past midnight. We are on day 17 officially now. So I will be closing out this episode because it looks like everybody is going to be about to go to bed. Once uh, once Olivia, you're finished with these puddles and you clean up uh, this uh, dish, I guess, over here. I'd like you to go to the bathroom and then you will go to bed. Where is David? Might as well sleep with David if he's... No, he's not in a double bed. Okay, so sleep wherever you want then. I'll just put you here. Yeah, sleep in Gretchen's bed, whatever. So because everybody is just kind of doing, uh, you know, it's, it's weird because everyone's on a different schedule now, it seems, which is really strange. Jasper has gone to bed. Banjo is on his way to bed. That's good. Candace is in bed. Zelda is complaining <laughs> go to bed Zelda or go to the bathroom and then go to bed come on go to the bathroom and then go to bed we're gonna find out in seven hours who it is that Oscar is gonna pardon from the block which is always interesting I always look forward to finding that out yes go to the bathroom and go to bed Chase is in bed Sylvia is in bed Brigitte is in bed Gretchen is in bed Manuela is in bed David is in bed Oscar is in bed and Aaron is about to go to bed after he finishes with these with eating this mac and cheese a good old mac and cheese so because everyone's on their way to bed I will close this episode out here thank you so much for watching the 16th episode day 16 of Sims Big Brother 2016 I have been your host Holly Linden I hope you're having a fabulous day please go to hollylindinspire.net to check out music and voiceover and art and written word and all that stuff all that good stuff um, in the meantime please like share subscribe comment um, and let me know underneath who it is you like in uh, the house who would you like to see get taken off the block is it going to be Zelda is it going to be Brigitte or is it going to be Candace. I really hope it's Zelda or Begita, but I have my feelings that it's going to be Zelda. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I will catch you in day 17. Bye-bye.